it gives me great joy to pronounce you husband and wife. You may kiss the bride and then smash the glass. Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back. If you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe so you won't miss any good videos. Today, I'm going to talk about the most emotional moments of my wedding. Comment on below if you have the similar experience. I don't think I've ever mentioned this to anyone yet. It's definitely the moment I've replayed in my head after the wedding for a million times. It's a moment when my husband and I were waiting in the hallway outside of the ballroom, waiting for the MC to introduce us as Mr. and Mrs. for the first time, looking at the direction of the door that we were about to enter. My husband and I were holding hands, our hearts pounding. It's the very first thing we were going to do as a newlywed couple. It's the very few seconds that we shared only to ourselves after the wedding ceremony. The thought of it just made us so nervous, excited, and can't wait to get through that door and start our first dance. That waiting moment was my favorite. After I got my hair and makeup done, only one hour before our wedding ceremony, I opened the card my husband wrote to me and read it loud in front of my bridesmaids, my mom, and mother-in-law. I didn't know why I read it out, maybe because I always do that when John gives me a card, but this time he was not there. Reading it out somehow served a way to release my stress. At that moment, I didn't care anything except for his words saying, I will be a wonderful wife and a wonderful mother to his future children. And I can't wait to embark on that adventure with you by my side. I love you, baby. John. Do you remember those subtle moments you see in every wedding videos that the bride is putting on her earrings or the mother of the bride is helping the bride to put on her wedding dress? Well, let me tell you, those were pretty much all staged. Usually when it really happened, the moments were too fast or the photographer didn't have time to adjust the lighting or the setting of the camera, so that moment just slipped away. And the photographer usually asked the bride and the mother of the bride to do it over. The funny thing is, to help to capture those genuine moments, we have to do it really slow and gentle. And it took me and my mom three whole minutes to pretend she was doing my buttons on my back. I found it very funny at the beginning, but when I turn around, when I look at her, my mom's eyes were full of tears. She seemed so happy and sad at the same time that her only daughter is finally stepping out of her wing and starting her own family. My tears came out immediately. I had always been so nervous about my makeup. As you can see, I am Asian. By the time I was looking for a makeup artist, every Asian artist was already booked. So I had to turn to a local artist. I even scheduled two makeup trials to ease my nerve. However, on my wedding day, after my makeup was done, I looked at it in the mirror and I didn't like myself. The part of me being a perfectionist started to stir in my head, but somehow I tried to control it inside so no one could notice. At that moment, one of my bridesmaids came in front of me, staring at me for five seconds and started to smile. She told me I look great and I even look like Mulan. I'm not sure if that part is true, but the support coming from my best friends definitely lighting me up. During my entire journey of planning a wedding, I think I sort of unintentionally keeping my parents outside of it. I came from a Chinese family. Both of my parents live in mainland China and a lot of process and a lot of activities are very different between a Chinese wedding and an American wedding. So every Friday when we FaceTime with each other, I basically just give them a brief idea 
like what's going on but I don't really share that much in details with them and looking back I realized we never really talk about our feelings of me getting married especially for a Chinese family we don't really talk about feelings that much however at a moment when my parents were walking me down the aisle they were both walking very slowly by the time we were going to separate my parents whispered something in my ear which made my tears fall in my eyes my mom said I wish you a lifetime happiness my dad said I am so happy and I hope you will be happy forever that's the moment I'm going to treasure in my entire life during an entire wedding you realize how fast the time can fly and how many accidents can happen in those few hours I remember during the reception when I was dancing I realized my bustle feels weird my dress just feels kind of dragging and look back and notice the bustle has broken I immediately rush back to the little like getting ready room and trying to fix it luckily a few of my bridesmaids were there as well it's very interesting that I only show my mom and my maid of honor how to do the bustle however at that moment they were both not there and only the three other bridesmaids were and I panicked and I got so frustrated I was like it's in the middle of the reception it's my big day how can this happen however at that time my bridesmaids were so calm I still remember at that moment I was standing looking outside just being very anxious and my three bridesmaids they were all kneeling down they were like on the ground they were trying to fix it I felt I'm so lucky to have them as my emergency crew and somehow they creatively figured out how to do a bustle without even learning it